forty days with the Lord. Day three with the Lord. The central focus of fasting remains to draw near to God. It reveals sin from which we must repent. Fasting is an act of worship that changes our spiritual and physical posture toward God. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, many of us look at fasting as a convenient way to twist God's arm to do something, or earn enough spiritual points to get what we want from God. We think fasting means skipping a meal, not eating non-veg, etc. But fasting is not about the stomach, but your soul and your standing before God. Fasting does not have to do only with food. If you are just focusing on food, you are missing the focal point. Food is not the only element that you can withhold from yourself. You could fast from watching television one night, not using social media, etc. But instead, pour over God's word and pray fervently for a few hours. Biblically, fasting is not a dieting process, missing a meal or two because we were too rushed to eat or a hunger strike to get someone to do something. The main purpose of fasting is to get our flesh out of the way so that the Spirit of God can move in your life. Fasting removes the barriers of communication with God and strengthens the spirit of man. It is the determination to remove the obstacles between you and your God and totally submit your life to the will of God. Are you ready to spend 40 days with the Lord? Day 3 Points to Ponder Daniel fasted to hear the voice of God. What is the purpose of your fasting? Fasting and prayer helps us to turn our focus from the world to God. Fasting and prayer helps us to understand God's vision and perspective. I wish you a very fruitful Lenten season. Sanctify yourself and you will sanctify the society, says St. Francis of Assisi.